Crosswind landings and takeoffs are cool and all, but it's safer to avoid them. In real life, air traffic controllers always try to make the planes take off and land facing the wind. In flight gear, you can try for yourself why this is. If you land with a heavy tailwind, you'll find that you have to apply way more brakes than when you land with headwinds. So to see which runways are best to use, if there's no ATC around, open up the weather information and look right here. This shows the current wind direction and speed. The wind heading is shown in degrees. Luckily, the numbers of runways are basically also in degrees, but less accurate. For example, runway 1 will generally be facing to somewhere around 10 degrees, and runway 24 will be facing to somewhere close to 240 degrees. Try to find the runway at your airport that comes closest to the current wind direction and you should be good to go. And that's how to deal with crosswinds if you don't want to make it too difficult for yourself.